was so great. I'm really looking forward to his fight tonight. Fine young man out of Detroit. The great Mexican fighter, Figueroa. Your referee is former light heavyweight contender Richard Steele. I'm Jeff Temkin along with Jimmy Lennon here at ringside, the Los Angeles Sports Arena. Main event night. Tommy Hearns, the taller of the two opponents. And I think it's safe to say probably the more explosive of the two. Has a tremendous advantage in height, the 6'1", and has no trouble making the welterweight limit. Today at the weigh-in, I was right there, weighed 146 and a half, and he still had his socks on. Tommy Hearns, a native of Detroit's east side. That is a tough, tough neighborhood in the Motor City. Young Tommy started his boxing career in the amateur ranks at tender age of 10. Good body shot by Hearns. Another body shot followed by a right hand. It's Right hand. Manuel Stewart signaling his young charge. Go ahead, finish him. Tommy Hearns. Motor City Cobra. You know, Jeff, you call him the Motor City Cobra, which is his name, but most of the fans call him the Hitman, and you know, Tommy doesn't like that. He said it sounds like some of the underworld, and I'm so far away from that. Someday they'll remember me as Tommy Hearns. Someday real soon, because he has talent. Tommy, very cool, feeling Figaro out, winding down on the opening round, scheduled 10. End of round one. Tommy Hearns has had a world of experience. And then, here we go, slow motion. Turns with his back toward you. Firing rights. Figueroa hanging on. Coming back with the left of the body and another overhand right. Well, we're looking into the corner of Figueroa now. They're working on him, probably giving him his instructions. He has a uh, couple of Mexican-speaking trainers over there. And uh, actually, Jose didn't know what was coming on. He usually starts fights a little slower, but Tommy Hearns wanted to get it over with. You know, Jimmy Figueroa came out similar when he fought Andy Price, his last, his last bout. Known as a slow starter, he's... He likes to get the feel of his opponent. See if he has any weaknesses and try to capitalize on them. Tommy Hearns, you don't have a, a whole lot of time to do that. Because Tommy can belt either hand and can really put you away. Tommy Hearns scoring with a right hand. Figueroa getting in a sneak right. Tommy didn't appreciate that. 
Tommy sticking to that jab, just waiting for Figueroa to make that one little mistake, drop that left hand, and I'm going to pump you with a right. Well trained, well conditioned, super athlete from Detroit. Fine amateur career, 155 wins, just eight losses. Held down numerous titles. Turn pro has rattled off 21 straight. 20 have tasted canvas. Right. Did you notice the tremendous sinewy arms on Tommy Hearns? Legs are not too big. Legs are very strong. Looks like he could be a distance runner. You know, it's hard to believe, Jimmy. Just a few short years ago, he was six foot one and weighed just 130 pounds. Right. He's put on a little weight. Uh, feels comfortable. At at 147. Plans to stay in this division and his immediate plans. I want the world title. And I want it soon. He's got time, just 20 years old. There's something I didn't expect to see from Tommy Hearns, a lead right hand, unless he knew it was gonna land. It didn't land. Figueroa not too dumb in there. He's a pretty clever fighter. Hearns has fought some good ones. Knocked out top-ranking Eddie Marcel of Trinidad. That was in 1978, last year. Also knocked out uh, in January of this year, Clyde Gray of Toronto, who's fought for the title on several occasions. And holds a knockout win over top-ranking Harold Weston, as well as contender Bruce Curry. All knockouts. He can do it. Why not? Jeff, of, I know in the Curry fight. The end of round two. Immediately following this fight, stay tuned for Michigan football. As the Wolverines battle Kansas University. Okay, round three coming up. Little slow-mo. That's Hearns with his back toward you, throwing the rights. Figueroa holding on a little bit. They're taught in Mexico not to clinch. But uh, I imagine when you're hit on the jaw with the explosiveness of uh, Hearn shots, you're, you're going to do a little thinking. A little. A little view of the Bruce Curry fight. Bruce Curry went out to try to knock out Tommy Hearns, went out there swinging and tried to knock him out in two or three rounds, made a big mistake. Tommy Hearns just bided his time and uh, took the good uh, junior middleweight out of the action. Bruce Curry losing by knockout to Tommy Hearns. Okay, here we go, round three. Jose Figueroa, Mexico. Tommy Hearns from Detroit, undefeated. Takes Figueroa a little, few rounds to warm up, but he'll give you a good fight. Tremendous heart, great chin. Oh, almost made the mistake there that cost him. Oh, it's Tommy Hearn scoring with a right hand. Figueroa continues to stand straight up. Hasn't been taking a backward step yet. And he keeps walking into Hearns like that. There's going to be trouble. Oh, it was the right hand, Figueroa, down. A picture right hand put Figueroa on the seat of his pants. Let's see what kind of heart he has now. He's up. Tommy, Tommy just takes one look. I'm coming at you. Here I come. Oh, Hearns. Oh, right hand. Left's right, it's all Hearns, Figueroa fighting for his right, it's all over. Tommy Hearns destroys Jose Figueroa at 1 minute 17 
seconds into round number three. Scheduled 10 rounder to remain undefeated. 22 and 0, 21 by way of knockout. He is on his way. Here, you see it right now. The right hand, Figueroa, didn't even see it coming. Went down and stayed down. Well, we knew he was explosive, but he showed it tonight. Wow. We're gonna watch it one more time. Watch Tommy Hearn's right hand. It's coming up. Tommy Hearns has got something to say to everyone here.